to your bring out the brand new video today. I'll be breaking down what the Cardinals have to do to come through with the win against the Cleveland Browns. That being said, let's just go straight into it. First off, I I'd be the the Browns they got an amazing offense. Okay? No matter how you say it, no matter what you do, they have amazing offense. Look at them last week. It was just a shootout between them and the Chargers, back and forth, back and forth, score, score, score. So uh, a huge thing for us is going to be our defense. Okay, now we are most likely going to miss Chandler Jones, which kind of sucks, but it, he hasn't done too much, but when he does, he shows up big time for us. And so that's a huge miss, a uh, huge missing key for us. Next up, though, oh, we're going to have to... Just find our, our footing with them. Okay, whether it's Buddha just being Buddha and making all the plays for us, or if it's like our linebackers coming through, we got to find and who's versatile enough to come through, which Isaiah Simmons, he's been killing it, and hopefully he can just continue with that. He's just, he's killing it this year, so. But we got to, we're going to have to stop. Of uh, Nick Chubb, which is a huge, huge ask. Now that's where J.J. Watt comes in. He's going to be able to stuff that run a bit. But still, we're going to need other people like Buddha, as I was saying, need to come in clutch. Because Buddha's always there somehow. I don't know, but he's always there when we need him. So, yeah. But Chubb's a problem. He's the top five running back in just in general. So it, he's going to be a problem for us. Especially when, if they just out of nowhere start running the ball good, we just can't stop it. Even though we have a very good run defense. If they just run the ball once and it's like 10 yard gain, we can't stop it for some reason. I don't know. But if we can find a way to keep Chubb to a minimum, like we did it with uh, Derrick Henry, or even with Dalvin Cook, because we did. He managed to stop Dalvin Cook. So, even though he did get a lot of yards on us, not, not the point, though. Okay, if we can hold them like we held those guys, it, it would make our lives way easier. But now it's the offense. Oh, God, Kyler. He's, he's still good, but we don't know the, what's going on with that shoulder. That's the huge thing for us. Because if he actually messed that shoulder up, if if y'all remember last season, he messed up his shoulder and he just wasn't the same. And then he also messed up his ankle or his, I don't know, his leg or something. I don't know. Right? When he messed up his shoulder, he just couldn't throw the ball the same way. He couldn't run like he could. He couldn't do anything. So hopefully it's just a minor thing that, that can be fixed because if not, then it's going to put us at a, a huge deficit for possibly the rest of the season. And so, yeah, we need our number one QB. But besides that, I, I would like to see us um, implement Kirk a little more uh, on offense. See, Kirk's weird because you'll see him get, like, 50 yards, 40 yards a game, right? He's, he's consistent in what he does, right? He's a perfect, like, number three receiver, in my opinion. But I... The amount of third downs and, like, clutch plays he'll make for us makes no sense. Because if you really think about it and go back, look at the highlights and everything, it's it's fourth down, it's third down, we need to play. Who does Kyler throw that ball to? It's practically Kirk every time. It makes no sense, but it works every time. I swear. But it, if we can just, like, implement Kirk more... That I fig- I figured that would be a good thing for us, even though it's still going to be tough because they got a decent defense, but it, it we have the weapons to just to spread them out and open things up, so yeah. Um, D-Hop. He, he finally had probably his best game uh, last week. I'm not sure. I mean, we have so many weapons. It's kind of hard to, like, go, you know, to the best receiver in the league when he's got a double teamed, but, yeah. But, you know, 
I, I think D Hop's gonna have a big game. Uh, I see them trying to one on one a little bit, and that's when we're gonna catch them. So uh, start the game, they're gonna mess up. We're gonna just take off with it, and that's gonna help us in the first drive. But yeah. Rondell Moore, if he keeps playing versatile the way he is, it, it, it'll be amazing for us. Okay, I'm not sure about you guys, but I love to see a Rondell Moore taking snaps at a, at a, the halfback spot. It looks awesome. It works crazy. It's amazing. Okay, just do a pitch to him, and he has the speed to just take off like it's nothing. It's an amazing play design. It's perfect, and and he's still fast on the receiving plays and getting those yards. You truly can't complain with his production, honestly. Now, last but not least, we got AJ Green. He he's been a he's been a stud to say the least. It, it feels like he doesn't do too much, but he he does a lot, and that that's the weird thing. It kind of, it's another one of those things that kind of makes no sense, but I don't know, when you're watching the game, it's just like you don't see him do too much, but he actually does, and so, you know, we're going to need him to be a key factor, just all of our offense in general to be a key factor. Okay, now, now last week, though, we lost Rodney Hudson to ribs and uh, Max Williams to a leg injury. Now... If you guys saw the replay, it clearly showed his like leg just kind of snap. So he's most likely gone for the rest of the season, which is why we signed Richard Rodgers today. Now, it's going to be tough to do about Max Williams. He was having his best year as a Cardinal. He was killing it. We actually were able to implement him into our offense. And we found him for three years, and it's simply the best production he's He's had the whole time with us. But it's the tough thing is it's going to be to find someone who can replace him. I'm not sure. Richard Rodgers could be that guy. I don't know. But replacing a, a Max Williams caliber tight end is going to be tough for us. And now I I get it. He, he was barely started doing good, but he was the tight end we needed. And that we finally had, and then his leg kind of just snapped. So it, if we can find our tight end, that would be amazing. Okay, that's a huge thing of, in our offense this year, and if we can get that, that's going to help us a lot. But back to Rodney Hudson, it was a rib injury, right? So I'm not sure how much that's going to affect him. We will see it probably by like Friday if he's going to play or not. Hopefully he's healthy and ready to go because our center that came in, I, I'm blanking on his name, he actually did pretty good. Okay, for just having to be brought in. But I, I prefer Rodney Hudson. He's one of our veterans, our captains. He's got he's that voice in the locker room, so it'd, it'd be helpful to have him. You know, we can do without him, I think, but if you can... If you can keep someone like that on your offense, staying healthy and keep going, it's going to work in our favor a lot. Now down to the running backs. In the last three games we've played, in the last three games we've played, our running backs have been absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Chase Edmonds doing his thing on the run game. Handling business per usual, getting it done and receiving and and uh, on the ground, perfect, right? But James Conner in these last three games has five touchdowns. Okay, we found ourselves on like that <laughs> within like the ten five area a lot, and so who do we give it to? None other than James Conner, who is able to handle that business with ease. Yeah, it, it's really good to have him, okay? I know a lot of people were iffy, iffy on him, right? But the production he's showing right now is amazing. So if we can just keep him going like this, it would be amazing for us. Okay, now back to Chase. Chase has been just... Mm, he's just been killing it. On 
See, he James Conner, yeah, he's our ground and pound guy. Yeah, but Chase, oh, just his level of receiving skills is just off the chains. And if we can, if we can keep Chase healthy, because he was questionable last week with his shoulder. But if we can keep Chase healthy, those two are are possibly the most deadly running back combo in the league. When healthy, those two. Those two might just be it. We saw that against the Rams, and I'm not sure about you guys, but I want to see that again somewhere down the road, so it would be nice. And the last point I will bring up before this is Cliff. Cliff, he has come out this year as, I like to think, a completely different coach. He's... He's just way smarter. He he's showing that he's he's learned from his past two failure years, and he's he's popping off. He's he's getting every play call right. He's still doing his he's still doing dumb things, okay. But you know what, coach doesn't have a dumb play in there every now and then, right? But Cliff, Cliff has just been electric this year. It, it it's still nice to see. You know, our coach, like, be physical and be part of the game with our team. So that's nice. But if he can just, if he can scheme up something this week, if he can scheme up something this week and just allow us to head in there or to Cleveland's field and come out with a win, that would be amazing for us. Same thing with Vance, though. Vance is doing off the chains as well. Well, I I honestly couldn't even tell you who's improved more, Vance or Cliff, because I I was after last year I I wanted Vance gone, but he's just he's made our defense something special. Him and Kime just handled business this off season, got us our stuff, and Vance Joseph handled everything with such. Grace, so it's very nice to see us having a, a top 10 defense. It's very nice to see us doing that, but but one last thing I know I've said that a couple times Byron Murphy, Byron Murphy, please come back, please, please come back and play. Please, our DBs weren't bad, but they, they weren't Byron Murphy level. Same thing with Marco Wilson. Please come back. We need you. <laughs> okay, I th- the receiver core they have. It's gonna be tough for us to uh, fully um fully uh do anything defensively if we don't have our guys in. So if we can just if we can get one back, preferably Byron. I'd appreciate that. But I would love to have both of them back because Marco's been killing it and. Might be the best working on our team. Ron Moore still exists, though. But, yeah. If they can come back, that would be amazing for us. But, yeah. But with that being said, that's the video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Upload daily content, so be sure to tune back in. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.